Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim, and today I want to talk about altcoins in the cryptocurrency market. Are altcoins dead in 2018? Now that's a pretty serious topic for a lot of people out there. And people like you and I, just average Joes in the cryptocurrency market. Altcoin is a very big subject. Now, at least for me, I know that Bitcoin is the top king for a reason, and I don't doubt I don't doubt its dominance. For but for altcoins out there, there are some people who believe that the altcoins will take over Bitcoin, and some of them have this institutional support, some have this awesome technology, and it goes on and on and on on reasons why this altcoin will take over Bitcoin and will give you the, the, the highest profit overall. And it might be true temporarily. But for me, I still believe in fundamentals of Bitcoin and a couple other altcoins out there. But I believe that most other altcoins out there really are based on hype, speculation, and the social media around it. So if you guys look, uh, if you guys look back at 2017, what are some altcoins that really got hyped up and that people were really for it? Going back in my logs of history, I could remember some altcoins that were really hyped and the price really matched the hype. Um, yeah, XRP is one of them. Ripple definitely had a lot of investors excited for it saying the bank is with it they're going to everyone is going to be using xrp in the future and if you look at the charts it really built up the hype and it was really quick though within days it like 100 x and same thing happened at towards the end of 2017 where all the social media was featuring it i remember there was a cnbc news article and news time where they showed you how to purchase xrp when it was at the top <laughs> i thought that was pretty funny um but i know that a lot of people got burned by xrp as well all over the world <clears throat> also um project like stellar definitely built the hype around i still believe stellar had some pretty good fundamentals but um overall there was some really uh big hype around it um Projects like Lisk, I remember I covered a lot of Lisk a couple of months back, and with the the re, with the update and the redesign of Lisk and their progress going forward, there's a lot of hype behind it. A lot of people followed the project, but I decided to step away for a couple of personal reasons. But that said, altcoins in 2018, I believe they still have a space in the cryptocurrency market. They're not going to die out. Well, let me rephrase that. Some of them will die out. Some of them will die out to the end and will have a couple ups and downs, but generally it will lose their value over time. However, I believe other cryptocurrencies, other altcoins will seem like they're gonna die out, but instead maybe next year or the year after going to come back into the bull run when all the sellers have gone and there is only buyers left then people are going to buy into bitcoin first and then look into the altcoins what can i invest that will profit me the most just like what happened during the 2017 craze and in the early 2017 and the late 2017 what is the next ripple what is the next ethereum what is the next stellar next neo the next icon what can i invest into that will give me that 100x profit and that's kind of it's kind of shallow in a sense you're just investing into the hype into the market cycle but so there is one side of me that says i don't want to be a part of that but there's also another side of me that that reasons saying if you want the profit, why not? So there is, 
I, I think that's a lot of people out there have that two sides. One side of you is saying, this is probably not a long-term project. It is not, it does not sound, it does not fundamentally sound correct. But on the other side, what if this project 10 X's? 20x's, 100x's in the next couple of months, next couple of years. What if I miss out on those opportunities? So there's always these two sides struggling when you're thinking about these cryptocurrency projects. And I would say it's a it's a pretty big struggle for a lot of people out there because the greed really kicks in. People are greedy, everyone is greedy, and people want to profit that 100x just like what happened to Ripple. And I think you have to be really careful during these times. But if you are going to invest into altcoins waiting for those profits, I think the time to invest in is, is right along the lines. Because you don't want to invest in when the project is hyped already. You want to research the altcoins and see which ones have the, the most potential to profit over the next couple of years and then invest in at the bottom. And this is pretty much just speculating. However, you can speculate based on educated guesses. So for example, a lot of projects that really took off during the 2017 years, they really have a couple things in common. And, e and one of them is that they have a significant backing behind the project. So for example, Ripple had the banking institutions behind it. There was a lot of people partnering with Ripple with XRP. And I think Brad Garlinghouse, um, he was a big proponent for XRP. So with these big names and big institutions coming, it really puts more trust in the people gives more trust out to the people and when for other projects like neo they have it's it's called the chinese ethereum and they had on chain with it uh da hong fei with it there's all these big names and big institutions behind the projects and i think that it gives the assurance for a lot of the speculators out there that this project is going to take off so if you guys are looking into altcoins i think that is a that is one possible indication that the project will be a success temporarily. If the project has strong backings from an actual institution slash cryptocurrency company, um, I don't know, big mining company, a big banking institution, a big, a big team that really supports the project, whatever it is, I think that really gives an indication that it's going to take off into the near future. But that said, a lot of the altcoins is still a speculation. However, if you guys want to take that risk, it might be a 50-50 risk. It, this, the project may go down forever. It might not happen what happened in 2017, but that's all of a risk that you take. If you guys are interested in altcoins, this is simply my opinion, but you guys have to look into these right now and research. Do your diligence and see which projects have the mo most potential to profit and invest in at the bottom when no one is interested, when no one wants to buy it. That's when you have to get in and stay, stay through the hype. Don't buy at the top. You have to come in early, set a plan, to when to exit because a lot of the altcoins out there they're not going to last forever they're going to have ups and downs ups and downs and you don't want to be investing in them for the long term this is simply my opinion i believe there are uh coins like bitcoin and some others that that i can be assured of staying long terms but i believe some altcoins out there they they have temporary success but out of those temporary success you can profit immensely off of those so in conclusion, altcoins in 2018, I believe they are not dead, but they're just waiting to quote unquote rocket to the moon. Not all of them, but some of them with good institutional backings or big companies, big names out there 
couple of those, maybe a couple, maybe tens, maybe twenties, maybe thirties. I don't know the exact number, but there are some out there that is waiting to just bloom into the next year and the year after. I'll definitely be looking into more projects out there uh, that fit this description. But I hope if you guys are interested, do your diligence and start researching it right now because this is, I believe this is a good time to research and look into those projects. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this kind of content, like this video, comment below and smash that subscribe button. Also, if you guys want to support this channel, check out the links below and I really appreciate that. And as always, I'll bring you guys more deals on Daily Deals with Tim.